Dear friends, joins the company Rosa Baron Expert welcomes you at joins the company Resign Radio Plant. The enterprise specializes in development and production of tactical radio communications and mobile communication centers for various power agencies of the Russian Federation, including command vehicles and communication equipment vehicles. The enterprise has significant experience in scientific and design activities, is the pioneer of many innovative developments in the field of radio communications. It has its own design style and production traditions. Today, Rosa Baron Expert presents the R-142 NSAR command vehicle. In Russian, these vehicles are called Keshe M, which literally stands for Command and Staff Vehicle. The name reflects the functionality of the vehicle. This is the latest modification of the R-142 series, the most common command vehicle in Russian defense and law enforcement agencies. The command vehicle is designed to provide communications and control of the armed forces units and groups of other law enforcement agencies. The control vehicle has a traditional appearance for most Russian command vehicles and mobile control centers. The basic version of the Kamaz 5350 vehicle with a 6x6 wheel arrangement was chosen as the chassis. The total weight of the command vehicle does not exceed 16 tons, a V-shaped 8-cylinder turbocharged diesel engine yielding 280 horsepower with great performance is more than enough to transport an 8-ton van body in full load. The cruising range of the highway is up to 1,000 km and the maximum speed is at least 120 km per hour. At the request of the customer, a different van body and chassis can be used for the production of the command vehicle, providing that they comply with requirements in terms of weight, dimensions, loading capacity, and other parameters. At the same time, this control vehicle has a number of differences from conventional military cash IMs, both in terms of configuration and in terms of combat use. The R142 NSRR toolkit includes additional communication facilities that enable use of the network and channel resources of commercial and departmental communication networks available in the area of operations to the maximum extent. The transition to digital technologies facilitated reduction of the electrical power consumption by communication means and thus made it possible to optimize the power supply system of the command vehicle. There's a compact diesel generating unit with a capacity of 4 kW, a block of batteries which enables operation for 20 to 30 minutes, an auto generator, the main power source, while on the move. In addition, it is possible to connect to an external electrical network of alternating current of 220 volts. The diesel generator is mounted on a platform between the cab and the van body. A platform with a falling ladder allows you to fuel and maintain the generator not dismounted to the ground, which ensures operation and reduces preparation time of the command vehicle. The crew of the command vehicle is four people, chief of the station, driver electrician, radio telegraph operator, uh, and secure communications engineer. Moreover, there are two working stations for officers. The van body is divided into two compartments. The front compartment houses the main means of radio communication and channel formation, as well as two workstations for the crew shift on duty. The radio communication means include the Akviduk military radio stations, one R168-100 KVE HF radio station, and two VHF stations, R168-100 UE2 and R168-25 UE2 radio station. These radio systems provide secure telephone communication and data transfer on halls and on the move. The communication range in the HF band is up to 350 km at parking for dipole antenna and up to 50 km in motion for a 4-meter road antenna. In the VHF range, the communication range is respectively up to 40 km at halls and 20 km on the move. Encryption of the transmitted speech information is provided by the E11C equipment. The interior of the vehicle also has space for installation of a specialized secure operational communication system at the customer's request. 
Additionally, the IC120 small size onboard VHF simplex radio station is installed in the R142 NSRR. It can be used for communication on the march, but its frequency band, namely 118 to 137 MHz, allows for communication with aircraft and helicopters. With an output power of 10 Watt, it provides communication over a distance of at least 20 km. The communication range with aerial vehicles increased and is determined by the line of sight limits. It has been already mentioned before, the composition includes modern radio communication facilities, which are usually used in commercial communication networks. These communication facilities make it possible to significantly increase the stability and efficiency of command and control due to the use of new technologies. They include a mini dial telephone station TAU-16, capable of establishing a digital IP telephone network with 16 subscribers. Below the station is the Rota ESR-100 that performs the function of a firewall of the fifth protection class. This rotor with two Ethernet switches, MES2308R, allows you to deploy a secure local network for data exchange between officials of the command point in the area where the R142 NSRR is located. Other commercial off-the-shelf communication means are also integrated into the command vehicle, namely LTE modem and two wireless bridges that use the infrastructure available in the area of operation, as well as the channel resource of civilian communication networks. This equipment is fitted to the hull and antenna mass of the vehicle. This is one of the two wireless bridges right above me, Infinet, made in the form of an external block coupled to a highly directional antenna with the beam is 5 by 5 degrees. This is a device for high-speed data transmission according to the P2P scheme. The output power of the transmitter is half watt. The bandwidth is up to 480 megabits per second while the maximum communication range can reach 50 kilometers, depending on the mast elevation. An LTE modem NSG1700 is installed in a weather-resistant container above the rear door. Next to it is the antenna unit of the modem. It allows you to establish a Wi-Fi hotspot with a range of up to 300 meters in the disposition area and provides high-speed access to cellular communication networks. Now we move on into the rear compartment where two workstations for officials are installed. Here in the anteroom there are storage boxes for filled fiber optic and inter-exchange cables. Also there are places for provision of food and water supply. The main rear compartment is quite spacious and comfortable. You can see there are workstations uh, with two secure PC of Aquarius types. In addition to a personal computer, there are terminals for open and secure telephone communication, as well as a video telephone for organizing video conferencing. In addition, it has a multifunctional printer at the customer's request. In both compartments at each workplace, AV, SKU, intercom sets are installed, which provide internal communication and work via external cable and radio channels. The operation procedures are identical to all intercom terminals, with the exception that there are headsets in the front compartment and mini telephones in the rear compartment. Here it is. On the left side of the hull of the R142 NSAR, there's a storage compartment with wireless bridges and cable equipment. Also on the left side, there are two input panels. One is used to plug in inter-exchange cables and remote telephone sets to be used in open networks. The other has cable connections for the secure network. The antenna devices are placed in side boxes on top of the vehicle. Finishing the story about the R142 NSAR command and stuff vehicle, I would like to draw your attention to successful layout and technical solutions. This is an excellent example of laborious, thoughtful collaboration between the user and industry. When all efforts are directed into creation of such means of communication that take into account the requirements of customers and the expected specifics of command use as much as possible. To learn more about communication systems of the Russian production, please visit our official website. You can use the link in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, share and like this video, and leave your comments. Ross Abaron Export is the only state-controlled intermediary in the sphere of export and import of military and dual-purpose products, services, and technologies.